So should pine martins be reintroduced to the Forest of Dean and Y Valley? One of the things we've assessed is habitat suitability. So pine martins need woodland in which to survive and there is abundant suitable woodland across the Forest of Dean and Y Valley. But that varies greatly in its type and its quality for pine martins. So we've been assessing habitat across the region and what's been most striking is the variety of different woodlands, the variety of different habitat types. There's a real mosaic from conifer plantations like this one. Some young plantations with low light levels, meaning not much grows beneath. Some deciduous, some big old oaks, some more open areas with lots of tussocky grassland, fantastic for field bowls, pine martin's main prey. Some areas with lots of deadwood, this forest clutter is absolutely wonderful for wildlife. So there's a real mix of both good and, and bad. We've had a master student looking into the abundance of small mammals. And this is really key for us because small mammals, rodents, are the primary prey of pine martins. They found that uh, there were 8.8 .8 rodents per 100 trap nights, which is a really decent level in comparison to Poland and Scotland where pine martin populations are healthy. So we predict a maximum population size of just under 200 martins could live in the region. And that region really extends from Newent in the northeast down to the Wentwood near Newport in the southwest. So it really emphasizes how this is a species that lives across big areas at pretty low density. So if the reintroduction does go ahead, there are a few key conservation actions we'd want to take. Pine martins need den sites, warm, insulated places off the ground away from foxes, and they like to use natural cavities in trees. However, there are some areas of the region where we don't think there are enough natural cavities available, for instance in conifer plantations, and it's this kind of areas that we would want to put up den boxes to make sure there's a suitable place for pine martins to raise their young. We'd also want to improve woodland connectivity wherever we could. So habitat fragmentation is a leading cause of species decline. And while there are some nice large blocks of woodland in the area, we'd really like to make sure that they're well connected. And of course, improving woodland connectivity wouldn't just benefit pine martins, but all woodland species. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. What I've not talked about are the potential mortality risks for pine martins. And for that, I'll dedicate a whole new vlog. Thanks.